Alpha is the state-of-the-art long-range locator device in the world to search for gold, treasures, and precious metals. Two integrated systems with high sensing technology to detect on long ranges up to 2,250 meters with depths to 50 meters underground. Device parts. The carrying case contains the following parts. Main unit, high gain antenna, headphones, charge adapter, car charger, battery pack, high gain antenna with wide frequency range. Main unit consisting of power key, back key, navigation arrows, Confirmation key, OK. Quick settings access key. Charge port. Headphone jack. Roaming and receiving antennas with binary stimulation. Device assembly. Insert the antennas into the connectors located in front of the main unit and twist them securely. Align the high gain antenna with the connector notches and press firmly until it is secured in place. Search systems in Alpha. The device uses two search and prospecting systems which are 1. Manual long range locator 2. Automatic long range locator Both systems utilize A. Roaming and receiving antennas with binary stimulation B. High gain antenna with wide frequency range. Device working principle. The high gain antenna transmits waves to target's location in order to stimulate them, so the capturing and receiving signals system spots the target location utilizing the roaming binary antennas and displays the target on display with multiple audio and digital indicators on the results interface. AJAX Long Range Locator System Features This system is specialized in search and locating gold, treasures, and other precious metals. Exceptional search interface displaying the results, searching location coordinates and the target path precisely, leading the device track to the target with high details. Search Systems Overview Manual Long Range Locator System the term manual is describing the user ability to adjust the search parameters manually to fit the needed requirements of the search, where the target type can be set from the list in addition to the other parameters, as the frontal search distance and the depth. 2. Automatic Long Range Locator System The device has automatic detection system for the located targets and shows the target type on display automatically and calculating the target distance from the device with high precision. The user can also determine the depth after acquiring the target location automatically. The device provides the user with a comprehensive report regarding the search process with the ability to save the report for review. Device Balancing The device is equipped with Hand Smart Balance. An indicator on the interface shows the user the right level and balance to hold the device during the search process. Tips before initiating the search 1. Selecting a search location for the system that is away from active establishments and free of high voltage lines, electromagnetic equipment or big machinery. 2. The user should remove any jewelry, metal accessories, watches, etc before starting the search and keep it out of the search area. 3. It is recommended to start the search process from the north towards the south, where the user back is to the north while facing south towards the target direction, which is the best method to get error-free and accurate results. How to use the search systems Using the manual long-range locator after selecting the system, the interface shows the search parameters which are 1. Target There are multiple targets to choose from Gold, Silver, Copper, Bronze, Iron, Tan, Lead, Aluminum, Meteorite, Diamond and Emerald The target can be selected using the left and right arrow keys on the keypad 2. 
search distance starts from 100 meters up to 2250 meters. It can be set using the left and right arrow keys. 3. Depth starts from 1 meter up to 50 meters which can be increased or decreased using the left and right arrow keys. 4. Start search displays an overview of the search parameters. Press OK to proceed to the search interface. A. An illustration shows the proper way to hold the device upright, which is parallel to the ground while keeping the roaming antennas on the middle. B. Waveform window shows the signal frequency output operating and transmitting correctly. C. The compass shows the device current direction. D. Balance indicator shows the holding position of the device during the search process, so the user could keep it at the green range. E. Target information box shows the selected search parameters. F. Save icon is to store the current location coordinates for review. After facing the search direction, press OK key or the grip key. The search antenna tracking indicator will be shown in the middle of the interface, where it interacts with the movement of the antennas. The antennas are affected by the target leading to the correct target path. Working and locating targets using the system. The device needs to be balanced and held correctly. The tracking indicator will be shown in the middle of the interface. Hold the device until a signal is received, indicated by the antennas moving from the balanced position towards another direction. The user turns with the antennas pointing towards the new path direction. Reset the tracking indicator by pressing the grip key, initializing the indicator back to the middle. If the antennas stay on the same path, then the target path is correct. If the antennas turn towards another direction, the user should repeat the steps mentioned earlier again. After that, the user can walk to track the target path and locate it. To do that, press the grip key once to display the target indicator, which is a rhombus, in top center of the interface. The device makes interactive sounds towards the target direction. Walk toward it if the antennas turn away from the correct path left or right, the display shows arrows guiding the user to adjust the direction on a straight course. Once the target point is passed, the antennas will turn all the way left or right, then the user should stop and this is the first halt. Then rotate with the antenna's movement to track the new path. The antennas will stabilize on the same first path line, but in the opposite direction. Keep walking down this direction until the antennas turn again. Here the user should halt again and this is the second halt. The target point is the midpoint between the first and second halt. Using the auto long range locator. Face the targeted search area and wait for the device to receive a signal indicated by the antennas moving towards target's directions. Then turn with the antennas. In the meanwhile, wait for the interactive meter to finish the evaluation and detection process. The interface shows the found target or targets in the search area. To list the detected targets, move by pressing right or left keys to see the target types. Select one of the detected targets to locate its position and measure its distance. When the target is selected from the list of detected targets, the interface proceeds to the next phase in the system, which is the distance measuring. Notice that the device making a sound notification when it is pointing towards the selected target direction. This point and direction are the start point and direction for target measuring distance. Target distance measuring when the device is aimed towards the target and it is making a notification sound, the direction must be sustained. Here, the start point should be selected, either left or right of the current point. Press the OK key and the arrow shows a prompt for moving 25 meters left or right depending on the selection. 
After walking the 25 meters distance, hold the device and wait for the antenna's reading. The reading is indicated by the antennas turning towards the target direction and intersecting with the first path. If the reading towards the target is noticed, press the grip key to get the target distance. The result will show on the top of the interface. If the result didn't show, then the arrow will blink, indicating that the user should move another 25 meters. Then press OK key to see the arrows forming a triangle with target distance from the search point. Proceed to the next phase, which is the target tracking phase. Target tracking process. When the target distance appears, press OK key to proceed to the tracking interface. Sustain the balance device position. The interface shows the signal tracking indicator in the middle. Follow the antenna's direction, and if a new path is taken, then reset the path tracker by pressing the grip key to reset the indicator to the initial state. If the antennas stay on that path, that means that it is the correct path to the target. But if the antennas change direction, the user should repeat the previous steps. After that, the user can walk to track the target path and locate it. To do that, press the grip key once to display the target indicator, which is a rhombus in top center of the interface. The device makes interactive sounds towards the target direction. Walk toward it. If the antennas turn away from the correct path, left or right, the display shows arrows guiding the user to adjust the direction on a straight course. Once the target point is passed, the antennas will turn all the way, left or right. Then the user should stop and this is the first halt. Then rotate with the antenna's movement to track the new path. The antennas will stabilize on the same first path line but in the opposite direction. Keep walking down this direction until the antennas turn again. Here, the user should halt again and this is the second halt. The target point is the midpoint between the first and second halt. Once the target tracking phase is finished, press OK to proceed to the depth measuring interface. Depth measuring process. The user has to move away 5 to 10 meters while the depth measuring interface is ready. Press the grip key and wait for the antenna's reading indicated by pointing towards the target location again. When the reading is complete, the depth result will show on the interface, then the system proceeds to the last stage which is the report. Report Offers a summary of the search process including the target type, distance, the followed path, and depth. The user can save this report in the device storage for later review or discard the report by exiting the interface and confirming the process.